whenever you are dealing with your own custom or private data often you need to convert your pdf and other document formats into markdown if you have ever dealt with markdown it is a bit hard to create so once it is created it is quite a joy to use plus you can use it in your data set or you can use it to fine tune or train your model in specific formats markdown format is a lightweight markup language that uses plain text formatting syntax it's easy to read and write and can be converted to html or other formats it has header it has bold and italic text it has lists lengths and lot of other stuff so if your data is in complex unstructured format it is always a good idea to convert all of the formats into one unified format markdown and this tool marker which is an open source tool for educational purposes you can use it to convert the pdfs into markdowns i think if you want to use it for commercial purposes there are some restrictions i will drop the link to this github repo in video description and you can read further about it marker converts pdf to markdown very quickly and accurately it supports a wide range of documents especially it is optimized for books and scientific papers let me show you an example so this is a pdf file or a book you can see there is a preface and lot of stuff is happening in this one with there are list with there are dots and there are tables and lot of other there are these diagrams so by using marker they have created this markdown version so if you go through this markdown version you will see that how accurately and nicely everything has been converted into this markdown which is simply a text and then by using any other tool you can easily convert it into your data set format and if you want to learn more about how to create data set i have heaps of videos on the channel just search with data set and you will find many videos anyway so this is a tool which converts pdf to the markdown so and you just saw an example too there are few other things i mean for example it supports all the languages it removes headers and footers and other artifacts it can also format tables and code blocks it extracts and saves images along with the markdown also it can convert most of the equations into latex and it works on gpu cpu or mps so primarily what happens is that marker is a pipeline of deep learning models it extracts text it it can also do ocr if necessary and it detect page layout and find reading order it can clean and format each block then it combines blocks and post processes complete text so let's see how can we get it installed and then we will be using it on one of a very small file i already have so let's go to my local system which is which where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and my memory is 32 gb you can run this on cpu but it will be a bit slow i have one gpu card of 20 2 gb of vram as you can see here let me clear the screen now in order to keep everything nice and clean what i will be doing i will be using a uh, conda to create a virtual environment let me show you my conda version 2 which is 24.1.2 if you don't know how to install conda i have a separate video so please search it out let's create clear the screen and i am creating a conda environment called as marker on the basis of python 3.11 just press y here and it is going to install all the stuff to your local system let's activate marker and you can see in parenthesis that marker is activated let me clear the screen and now we are going to install this marker now in order to install marker all you need to do is to do this pip install marker dash pdf and it is going to install all the required packages so let's wait for this one to finish do not take too long okay, everything is installed let me clear the screen so i already have a pdf file stored here it's a simple pdf file and i will be converting it into markdown and for the conversion all you need to do is to use this command marker_single 
and this is my directory pdfs where i have stored this file my pdf dot pdf and then i am just giving it this output directory output markdown and then i am specifying batch multiplier to 2 batch multiplier is how much to multiply default batch sizes by if you have extra vram higher numbers will take more vram but will process faster by default it is set to 2 that and uh, this default batch size will take around 3 gb of vram so as i have uh, around 23 gb of it so maybe i'll just for the sake of it i'll just give it 4 and then i am just saying max page is 10 you can just omit it and it will process the whole pdf file and the language is english here which is self explanatory so let me quickly also show you my pdf file so this is a pdf file which i have just created if i just make it a bit bigger this is just a summary of me from linkedin it just talks about me so this is a pdf file which i am going to convert into markdown so let me take you back to my terminal and let me run this command here so it is running it is downloading the model and you see the model is quite small just 550 meg so let's wait for it to finish and then we will see what it does don't take too long there you go so it's it's loaded the model and then it has also detected the b boxes and it saved it in my output markdown folder so let's go there i'll just go output markdown ls dash ltr and then this is also a directory as you can see in purple let's ls so there you go so my pdf.md is a typical format so let me show you the md1 there you go how good is that very very accurately if i read through it quickly it says accurately uh, identified it and very very correctly even it has detected this slash there which is in my that document let's also have a quick look at this json one so there you go some metadata it shows language is english file is pdf only one page there is no ocr because we haven't specified it and then some of the header footer which it removes uh, if it finds amazing amazing stuff as you can see very quick very easy all of it was done locally so just think about it if you simply want to convert your pdfs into text you can just simply use this for locally for educational purposes so amazing stuff done by these guys vic and uh, his team vic Perchuri and samuel and all of those people amazing thing service so and if you go through this markers website they have given some more examples they have even given some of the benchmark and there you go so there are some restrictions here so and because they say that they want to make marker as widely accessible as possible so amazing stuff so and then there are some of the stuff even this license is very very generous so really good stuff anyway guys i hope that you enjoyed it i will drop the link to this github repo in video description and really heads off to you know Vic for creating this because these things cost money even development training so i think it's good that you know if enterprise is using it they should pay him similarly i have been using my own servers and stuff so uh, if you like to support the channel feel free to uh, buy me a coffee so there is a link in my videos i would be very grateful if you look into it this this link here and thanks for the people who are already supporting it because as you know these things uh servers and all that hey stuff. ml teams I'm did you know you can track for my own uh, resources so it always helps to carry on the channel so thank you so much but don't feel compelled totally voluntary totally your choice but that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching